Hey everyone, welcome to the On1360 end-to-end -end training course. In this video, we're going to dive into the overview of On1360 and how you can use it with On1 Photo Raw and On1 Photo Mobile. So to show an overview of On1360, I'm going to give a real-world example of me taking some of my favorite surf photos, adding them into an album, and then publishing that album to On1360. Now in this video, I'm going to be using On1 Photo Raw to sync with On1360. Now you don't actually have to use On1 Photo Raw to benefit from On1360. You can just use our free On1 Photo Mobile app available on iOS and Android to use On1360 for your photographs. But in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating this through On1 Photo Raw 2020. So inside On1 Photo Raw 2020, I'm going to select these photographs that live on my computer now these images could live on a hard drive, could live pretty much anywhere you want them to, and you could still upload them to On1360. So I'm just going to select these surf photos here and these photos of the beach. And then I'm going to head over to the left side of my screen in my albums, and I'm going to click on this plus button. I'm then going to click create album, and now I can enter a name for my new album. I'll just name it surfing. Then I'm going to add these selected photos, and then I'm going to publish to On1360. By selecting publish to On1360, this is going to upload these images to our cloud servers, and then you could view, edit, and modify these images on any of the computers or devices that you own. So I'll just click OK. And now in my albums, I can see I have that surfing album, and it's got a little On1360 tag next to it. Whenever you have the On1360 tag here, that means that those photos in this album are all uploaded to the On1360 cloud servers. I can also head down to this On1360 button, and this will show me the uploads remaining for that album. With that album uploaded to the On1360 cloud servers, I can now view and edit those images on my phone, my tablet, or other computers or laptops that I use. If I'm using On1 Mobile to edit my images, all of the edits and adjustments I make inside On1 Photo Mobile will be synced across all of my computers and devices. That way, when I go back to my desktop or my laptop computer, I can see those same edits I was working on on my phone or my tablet, and I can edit them right away. And that's not to say that you have to create a new album for it to be published to On1360. We can always head over to our albums and for whatever albums that we've created previously, we can still upload those photographs to the On1360 cloud servers. So let's say I have previous albums in here, like a portrait album. I can just right click, and then I'll just click Publish to On1360. Now that album has that On1360 tag, and those portraits are now uploaded to the On1360 cloud servers, so I can access those photographs from any of the computers or devices that I own. If you want to publish a catalog folder to On1360, just head over to your My Catalogs tab. In here, I can see my catalog folders, and I can also see this On1360 pane here. Inside of this On1360 pane, I can view all of the devices that I have synced up to On1360. In the albums that I create on these devices, I can view directly from right here. But let's say we want to add a catalog folder to On1360. All we have to do is right click that folder and select Publish to On1360. Once we select that, it's going to add that On1360 badge to it. That means that it's syncing these photographs to the On1360 cloud servers. You can also pick and choose which folders you would like to upload. So if I have multiple folders, I can choose which one I would like to upload rather than having to upload this entire portraits folder. So if I just want to publish this city life folder to On1360, I'll just right click it and I'll select publish to On1360. And you'll see that badge is only added to that city life folder and not any of the other folders there. Now I can modify the syncing settings from any of these folders by just right clicking and going to Sync Options. Now I can choose to publish the Sync Previews, which is a compressed version that you can still modify and edit, 
or you can publish the raw original files. 